Hey there, crypto friends, and more specifically for this video, Ripple XRP friends. How are you guys doing on this Wednesday? Well, Wednesday night for me. Um, sure, different times for you guys around the world as you're watching this video. But I'm just sitting back here tonight, guys, trying to put this video out for you guys, specifically my fellow XRP, my Ripple buddies across the world. It's nice to be able to communicate with you guys, talk XRP, talk Ripple. You know, after a long day of trying to talk to people in my uh, regular life, not my crypto life, but my regular life explaining blockchain, explaining these different projects, and nobody having any clue about what I'm talking about, it's nice to get out there and uh, connect with other Ripple enthusiasts, people in the crypto world who also are passionate about these projects and have some of the same goals and aspirations in the future of what Ripple could do for all of us, right? So I'm just sitting here with the dogs, guys, today, and I'm thinking about... You know, one thing I do love about the Ripple XRP community is how passionate we are, how strong, committed, committed to XRP, committed to our own goals, our own, uh, you know, our own positions here in the crypto world with what we're doing, investing in these different projects and not letting the naysayers and the FUD really sway us. Because this is one project that it's really good community, a really strong community, and that outside FUD does not really affect us too much, right? There's some weak hands in, but we got a lot of strong long-term holders in there, and we're adding new people every day that are jumping into the XRP community and ecosystem, so that's exciting. And one thing I want to say, guys, is there's a lot of talk about Coinbase, Coinbase, Coinbase. And you know what? We're lucky in the XRP Ripple community. We don't need Coinbase. Now, Coinbase is good, right? We've seen Coinbase help projects and coins in the short term. There's a lot of spike in prices when we hear about things like we just saw with Ethereum Classic getting on Coinbase. But in the Ripple community, we don't need Coinbase because in the long term, the real use cases of this project, the utility and the revolution that XRP is building and creating right now will take us to the promised land, okay? We don't need Coinbase to do that for us. You know, Coinbase... A lot of quick money comes in, a lot of quick money comes out when people, the speculators, get on Coinbase, grab the coins. Coinbase could be good for some projects too, guys, later on when, you know, the institutional money and the, you know, the mainstream investors come in. They don't want to get Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash kind of pricey on there. They see a cheaper, relatively cheaper coin. They might grab some as some of their first investments in crypto. So that could be good for those projects and could be good for Ripple if it's on there someday in that sense. But that's not what we need. Ripple, we're getting to the promised land without Coinbase, without all of those big fancy exchanges, all the speculation. We don't need that because we're what we witnessed, guys, what happened on the Ellen Show the other day when we saw that four million just instantaneously go across the globe. It reminds me of me and my wife, how hard it was years ago in Korea and Japan two times trying to send money back home and get the SWIFT numbers and communicate in different languages and then waiting the three to five, five to seven business days to see if it's going to clear and then just to see that four million instantaneously, boom, gone, that's going to change our lives and change the world. And we're in the middle of it. And congratulations to you guys and myself because we're Ripple holders. Ripple holders, we're on the Ripple Express. We're going to the promised land together and we're going to be there. And the good thing about Ripple, guys, if we can just step away from it and not watch the price go up and down, up and down and freak ourselves out, we don't need to do that because in two, three, four, five years when the world has changed, and we think back to these days, like today, right? We don't care if Ripple's 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents. It doesn't matter. Because when that institutional money is in Ripple, the trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars that's in Ripple XRP in the future, that's on the sidelines now, when that comes into our ecosystem, guys, can you imagine the prices? And when everybody, like I told you guys today, I love uh, connecting with you guys, my fellow crypto friends, but... There's people that don't know what that is. In the future, everyone's going to know what Ripple is, right? It's going to be a saying, I rippled you some money. People are saying it's going to be a verb. I'm going to ripple you some money. I rippled you some money. And we're going to think back to, to these days, guys, when we were early investors. Hopefully, you were in even way back in the day. You got it so cheap, got big bags of it. But even if you're jumping in on Ripple today, good for you because where is it going to be in the future, guys? The sky is the limit for Ripple. It's the one project out there that with all the naysayers and the FUD that's being spread around the crypto world right now, the negativity... Ripple is just trucking out there with the news, the partnerships, the news, the partnerships, right guys? So it's one thing that can let us sleep good at night knowing what Ripple, the company, is doing behind the scenes. And for the people that are saying there's a disconnect between XRP, the currency, and Ripple, the company, well, keep saying it because I'm sure all of you believe the Ripple community, we're not going to have Ripple build these uh, 
partnerships, change the world with the central banks, the financial institutions, and then pull a rug out from everybody, under everybody, and say, I scammed you, XRP is not the coin. Now we're waiting We're waiting for um, you know XRapid to come live, the product's going to become live, we're in beta, that's exciting news when that comes out, and is available, right, out there in the community, available to everybody. So much good stuff happening with Ripple, such a great community. One thing, one thing I'm very proud to be in the Ripple community, I wanted to say that to you guys. And I just hope tonight, maybe one or two of you fellow Ripple enthusiasts are watching this video somewhere else around the world. Give me a comment in the comments below. Tell me what you're up to, you know, what you think about Ripple in the future. And then just tell me about your regular day because I find this in the Ripple community. We're actually friends, right, all across the globe. We're in this project together. We're very like-minded people and it's just such a strong bond we have. All these cripple enthusiasts in the cripple uh, in the cripple. What am I saying? In the Ripple ecosystem, guys, it's just really great because that's I find it's so passionate in the comments people send back and forth, and actually making friends across the globe through Ripple. So that's interesting itself, right? A lot of other projects are. You hear how stupid everybody is. Oh, you're in this. I'm in that. You're in this. Oh, you're an idiot if you're not in this. You don't see that so much in Ripple, right? The community is really strong, backs each other, um, supportive of each other, and I just love watching Ripple uh, videos and seeing the comments that are out there. So I hope this video reaches one or two of you out there, Ripple enthusiasts. Let me know what you think about Ripple. Let me know how you're doing in real life, because that's the bigger thing, because three or four or five years from now, maybe all of us can get together. We'll be uh, meeting somewhere exotic around the world to tell our early Ripple stories, right, while we share a drink. But that's it, guys. Thanks for letting me connect with you guys in the Ripple community tonight. Hopefully one or two of you were able to watch this. And, um, you know, you can let me know your views of Ripple and what you think you're going to be doing in the future when uh, the ship comes in, our Ripple ship comes in, because that's where we're going, guys. And hopefully early retirement for a whole bunch of us. We don't have to, not tomorrow or next month, right? But in the next couple of years, guys, we're going to be seeing really good things when Ripple is just mainstream across the globe. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for letting me connect with you guys tonight. I'm just sitting here with the dogs, and I really wanted to get out there and reach some other Ripple enthusiasts today because I had a hard time today talking to some people about Ripple who don't really understand the project or crypto in general, and I thought, ugh, i got to get back and talk to my crypto buddies, right, my Ripple buddies. All right, that's it for me, guys. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, just relax. Let's take it easy. Ripple's going to the promised land. We don't have to watch every day. The price is up and down. That doesn't matter. The final... The final say will be in a couple years when we're all laughing, right? But we were in Ripple back in the day when everybody had a chance and we took advantage of that. Okay, guys, have a great night. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video. And we'll talk about some other projects and coins out there that are exciting too. Lots of projects we can be in, but Ripple's one of the big ones for us. And I hope it's one of the big ones for you guys too. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.